Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. Opioid deaths in the state of Arkansas have been increasing year after year, but now there is an additional tool available for health care providers to potentially save more lives. Another drug that reverses the effects of an opioid overdose can now be used, but there are some things that you need to know. Channel 7's Ashley Lunningham joins us with more tonight. Ashley. Beth, the drug is called OPV. It was approved by the FDA last May, and it's the first nalmefine nasal spray to be approved. Another step further in helping fight overdoses, both from addiction and accidental overdoses. Something that a local pharmacist tells me, the faster any reversal drugs can get out into the community that work, the better. From 2019 to 2021, Arkansas saw a 251 percent increase in fentanyl overdoses, an increase that continues. In an effort to combat that, a new drug called OPV is the first nalmefine nasal spray. Judy Dane, who works for OPV, says the drug is similar to Narcan and can reverse the effects of an opioid overdose. This is the first time nalmefine is available in a nasal spray. Nalmefine had been approved in 1995 by the FDA, so they're is a long history of the effectiveness of nalmefine in different formulation. Just like Narcan, giving OPV to someone who is potentially overdosing is easy to do. Dane says since the Department of Health issued a standing order, it is available in Arkansas as well as 33 states across the country. When we look at the crisis that we're in today with over 100,000 people losing their life to overdose in just the last 12 months, I think we can all agree that we need every tool available to be able to combat this and reverse those trends. And Pace with Kavanaugh Pharmacy says OPV and Narcan are slightly different. A dose of Narcan will last for a few minutes. A dose of OPV can last a few hours. Whichever is used, the patient still must get to a hospital immediately. And you could go back into opioid overdose. So the OPV is longer acting, that it'll stay in the body and on those receptors longer. This is a big deal because fentanyl lasts a lot longer. Pace says this is a big step in the fight against the opioid crisis. And with OPV, it can last long enough for your body to metabolize the opioid and leave your body completely. It's a huge, huge problem. And so the more available we can make these medications and the more available we can make this drug, if it's if it is better and you know better for some specific people, as much as we can get out there, I think is a win. Now, Pace says with OPV, there is one other thing to be aware of. Because OPV stays on your receptors for longer, there's potential the patient could feel withdrawal symptoms immediately. Again, it is very important they should seek medical attention right away to help with those symptoms. On your side, I'm Ashley Lunningham.